Hello and welcome back to another lazy lesson. The global positioning system or GPS as we call it popularly has become very significant today. From finding the quickest route to your home to ordering food online, it has become an inevitable part of our day to day lives. And imagine yourself for one day being cut off from all these services. Don't you think it would be a nightmare and lead to many disasters? Yes, it would be a possibility as long as a country is dependent upon other countries for such services. And precisely to escape itself from falling into such situations, India has built its own regional navigation satellite system which is named NAVIC. Friends, this topic is relevant for both prelims as well as mains. So in today's discussion we shall understand what is NAVIC, how it works, its significance and benefits and how is it different from the GPS that is the global positioning system. So first of all, what is NAVIC? It is the new name given to the original Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System that is IRNSS. It stands for Navigation with Indian Constellation. The name NAVIC denotes Sailor or Navigator. Well, NAVIC is India's very own indigenous navigation satellite system just like the GPS of US. It consists of 7 satellites, 3 in geostationary orbit and 4 in geosynchronous orbit. And for any person standing on ground at any given time, 4 satellites are clearly visible. And hence, the system provides clear cut accurate information. So in summary, these are the key features of the NAVIC navigation system. Firstly, it consists of 7 satellites, 3 in geostationary and 4 in geosynchronous orbit. And secondly, it covers not just the Indian mainland but goes beyond the Indian mainland up to 1500 kilometers on all its sides. And next, it provides two types of services. One is the standard positioning service and the second one is restricted service. The standard positioning service is provided to all the users whereas the restricted service is an encrypted service provided only to authorized users like military. And another unique feature of NAVIC is it operates in two bands that is L5 and S band. And this helps in providing accurate information or position irrespective of the weather. So why India felt there was a need and necessity for having its own regional navigation satellite system? Just like a tragic story behind every success, India too has one. That is the 1999 Kargil experience. See what do you do when you are completely dependent upon a global power for any positioning related issues and it ditches you at the right moment when you needed it the most. You decide to become self reliant right? Yes, exactly that is what has happened in India's case. When Pakistani troops took positions in Kargil in 1999, one of the first things Indian military sought was global positioning system data for the region. And this GPS data is maintained by the US government. It would have provided vital information. But however, US denied it to India. And exactly it was then the need for an indigenous satellite navigation system was felt. And today, after two decades, India has now its own GPS which has been developed to challenge the current GPS system of the West. And soon, the data from NAVIC will be offered as an Indian counter to foreign systems currently being used by companies and others. And this helps India become a net security provider. And having an independent regional navigation satellite system can play a significant role in relief efforts post disasters such as tsunami. And these are the main benefits of having a regional navigation satellite system that is NAVIC. First of all, it definitely enhances civilian and navigation capability of India and it is also helpful for farmers in crop mapping and next it could provide accurate direction for fishermen and it can also be used in real time mapping of the government projects. Apart from these, the data from NAVIC can also be used in vehicle tracking and fleet management, precise timing and terrestrial navigation aid for hikers and travelers. Now what is GPS or the global positioning system? Well, it is a constellation of 30 satellites placed at an altitude of 20,000 kilometers above the earth. It was originally developed by the US only for military navigation. It became fully operational only in 1995, which means the GPS data was made available for civilian usage only from 1995. And the first satellite navigation system of the US military was called Transit, which started in 1960s. Now let us try to understand how GPS works. 
Well, basically, GPS is made up of three parts that is, satellites, receivers, and ground stations. Here, satellites are like stars, and we know where they are supposed to be at any given time. And this is ensured by the ground stations using radar. And the receiver here is constantly listening to signals from these satellites. And when a receiver is wanting to know its location, four satellites come into picture and provide accurate information about the position. Now each of these satellites transmits information about its position and current time. And the GPS receiver intercepts the signals from these four satellites and maps the accurate position. Now when you look at the key differences between the GPS and Navic, we find two main differences. The first one is in terms of accuracy. That is, Navic has a position accuracy of 5 meters, whereas the GPS has a position accuracy of 20 to 30 meters. And this makes a huge difference. And next key feature is, Navic system has dual frequency bands, that is S and L. Now what is the advantage of having dual frequency bands? Well, please note here that when a low frequency signal travels through atmosphere, its velocity changes due to atmospheric disturbances. And when satellites are operating on two bands, these disturbances can be avoided to a certain extent. Please note here that the GPS operates only on L band. And just like Navic of India and GPS of US, we have GLONASS for Russia and Galileo for European Union and Baidu for China. Now based on today's discussion, let us try to solve a question. Consider the following statements. Navic is a constellation of 8 satellites. It has become operational since 2014. You can comment your answers in the comment section below. And that's it for today. Thank you.